dear viewers, welcome to today's episode of Let's Learn English. My name is Yitini Fasun. Today, we are going to learn the pronunciation of some English words, their meanings, and the right ways to use them. To the first one, borrow. Borrow. To borrow is to receive something from someone. To borrow is to receive something from someone temporarily. Lend. Lend. To lend is to give something to someone temporarily. To give something to someone on condition that it will be returned later. So if I need to get something from you, I'll borrow it. While you that you want to give me that thing will lend me. Do we get that? Okay, to the second one. Pack up. Pack up. A person whose business it is to pack things, maybe food or anything, is a packer. Dustpan. Dustpan. A dustpan is a flat scoop with a short handle used in packing dirt or dust. Packer. That woman is a packer because she packs, she packs things for people. Dustpan. Can you please get me a broom and a dustpan? Okay, to the third one. To the third one. Beat. Beat. To beat is to strike or hit something or someone. To beat is to strike or hit something or someone. Drench. Drench. Drench is to get salt or wet. To get soaked or wet. I need you to note that beat here is the verb form. I'm using the verb form here. Beat to strike or hit something or someone. So I can say, please don't beat me, please. Drench. I don't want the rain to drench me today. No. So the last one for today. Cleaner, cleaner. A cleaner is a person whose job it is to clean things. A person whose job it is to clean things or remove that, remove that from things is a cleaner. Eraser, eraser a rubber both mean the same thing. Eraser is used in American English. To mean something that is used to remove marks made by pen or pencil. While rubber is used in British English to mean something that is used in removing marks made by pen or pencil. So if you decide to say eraser to mean something that is used in removing marks made by pen or pencil, you are correct. But you are only using the American version. And if you decide to say rubber to mean something used in removing marks made by pen or pencil, you're also correct. But you are only using the British version. I appreciate you so much for joining me on today's episode. I hope to see you next time. Bye.